This is Kulali and her owner Garth. Garth was a successful engineer who started building Kulali as his final life project. Unfortunately, Garth never got to see her finished. I've been lucky enough to take the challenge on of completing her build and one day to sail her around the world. Similar to Garth, I'm a passionate engineer who loves to know how things work and how to build things. Join me on this journey to bring Garth's dream to life. This is Sailing Kulali. I've been working on this house and we haven't had much time to do anything else but work on this house. But I just got this in the mail. I already know what's inside it, but I'll pretend I don't. So a good friend and subscriber sent me this. Woohoo! It actually says that. Captain Mom. First mate over show. So you can see they're stubby holders and it's given me some inspiration to spend some time making a new video for Sailing Kulali. Thanks so much, Adrian. So yeah, instead of working on the house, I've been making a new video, so enjoy this one. All right, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be using this thing quite a lot more. It's a hot glue gun. It's actually one of my favorite tools in the whole world. Just so good. It's not really anything you can like, you can glue and then you can take off as well and it and it's really easy to clean up. So we're gonna be working on the windows today. And the first step of it is to make a template out that we can put onto the window opening. These are the big windows. So then we're gonna cut out the acrylic to the right size using that template. And then we're gonna to have to bend that acrylic to the right curvature of the hull. So this is like level two difficulty compared to the front windows that we did. And the second all time favorite thing Second to a hot glue gun is cardboard, cardboard boxes, and these are super useful for everything, including packing. The idea is you're meant to try and make something flat and big using this. So the first step is I always cut the join, and then you open it up, and then you wanna stiffen up the bends. You get another cardboard box. And you take these little tabs off the side, Then what you do is you put the hot glue into there, the stick, right? Check that it's working. Is it working? Yeah, it's working, it just needs to heat up a bit more. So you can see it's bending. If I take this and the grain is running this way, I stick it there, right? It will stop the bending. No more bending. All right, so if you see that, it doesn't bend anymore. That was pretty simple physics, wasn't it? All right, that's it, that's the cardboard box. Ready to be used as a template. Ugh. Stay. All right, so we have this here. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna template around that with a pen. Jesus! Now, nah, I've gotta tape it, I've gotta tape it.
All right, that's it. So we're going to have to cut that out. Pretty simple shit using a Stanley knife. And then we're going to use that to mark out the windows. This is the window that we've just templated out. And this is the Mitsubishi acrylic. Mitsubishi acrylic. There you go. So we will we'll position this evenly there, there, and here and here. Mark the straight lines out and then we can put in the corners. What I've seen some people do is that to try and center something, they'll mark a center line or they'll try and even this side out that side. The best thing you can do that I think, you move it to one edge like that, then you measure this end and then that's 41 and a half divided by two is 20. 0.75. So 20.75, mark it there, arrow on that side, mark it here, arrow on this side, mark it here, that's it. So yeah, that's even this way now, and then we just got to do a similar this way. So what it looks like is this window has actually already been cut to the general shape and size. So all I need to do actually is just radius the corners off here and here. So I just got to find something that matches the radius here. Normally a roller tape. A bit of good fortune. So this tape actually matched nearly, well, exactly to the radius somehow. Just make sure nobody uses this piece of tape. The outside radius is obviously the radius that is gonna be for all the windows in the boat. Because the windows are actually cut to the right size, I am just gonna to need to just do the radiuses on each of the windows and then cut them out, round them off. Then we should be ready to start bending them. Cool! I've definitely just cut through that and it doesn't want to... What the hell? So it's obviously melted back to where it was. That's one done. The reason I cut proud was because I was worried it would chip off. So if you cut proud, you can always sand it back, which is what I did. So yeah, 27 of these to go, 26 to go. Okay, so the next part of this is to match the curvature of the windows and to do that I need to make a template of what the curvature is on the top and bottom of the windows and from there I can then make a mold which the acrylic will then wrap around when I heat it and that should hopefully match the curvature that we need. So there's a few ways to get a profile. What I generally do is use a compass. What I do is I tape a pen to the outside and then you'll see what it can do.
what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get this wood, this ply, to form to the shape of this, but it's too thick. So I don't have any thinner stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to score it with the circular saw, just about maybe um, three fifths of the way through the wood, and then that will allow it to bend. So there you go. So it's much bent, much bendy, much more bendy now because of those slots. Cool, so in theory, this should have the curve of the window, um, similar to how you do a half pipe, I guess. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, so this is the curve. Now we're just gonna heat the acrylic on top of this and hopefully it melts it through the shape. I bet you that it won't melt to the, it will melt, but then it will have like residual um, stress and it will like be less curved than what it needs to be. <sighs> so this is called a rip pack. It's like a big blow gun. Blow gun? Blow dryer? Air dryer, hair dryer. Blow torch, idiot. All right, here we go. Whoa. Is that too much gas or what? Oh, you gotta point it down. No? Woo. All right, here we go, window number one. I'm just gonna warm it up. I think it's out of gas. That's pretty funny, it actually like pretty much matches. Alright, that's it. So it didn't work as I thought it would have in the sense that I thought we were going to heat the whole thing up and like basically melt it over this thing but it seems like just heating it up a little bit bends it enough and it pretty much matches the curve now of this board but we'll check on the boat um, when it stops raining but that's it for today so see you next time.